Vaccination has made headlines, but how does it actually work? Pathogens have proteins that your immune system can recognize, called antigens. Each immune cell has a unique receptor. This means that your body can recognize any antigen, but that only a few cells can recognize a specific antigen. A typical response begins with an antigen-presenting cell, which consumes a pathogen and presents an antigen from it. When a helper T cell with a receptor for that antigen binds to it, it becomes activated. If the response were a symphony, then the helper T cell would be the conductor, signaling different cells to participate in various ways by sending both activating and inhibitory signals. There are two basic types of responses, depending on whether the pathogen lives inside or outside of your cells. For pathogens outside of your cells, B cells are the main cell recruited by the helper T cell. B cells have Y-shaped proteins on their surface called antibodies, which bind to specific antigens. A B cell bound to an antigen and receiving a chemical signal from the helper T cell begins producing more of the same antibodies. These antibodies can flag pathogens for destruction, block a pathogen's ability to function, poke holes in pathogens using a complement protein, and activate granulocytes to release cytotoxic granules next to pathogens. For pathogens that live in your cells, the helper T cells will recruit killer T cells, which have receptors that bind to antigens presented by your infected cells, and then release signals that kill the infected cells. B cells, helper T cells, and killer T cells all divide when activated. Most of the cells they make battle pathogens, but some don't and stay around as memory cells for a faster response the next time you're infected. Vaccination works off of this principle, putting an antigen in your body to trigger an immune response to create memory cells so that your body can respond with many cells next time you're infected. Different types of vaccines use different methods of stimulating the immune response. Live attenuated vaccines use a weakened version of the pathogen. Inactivated vaccines use a dead version of the pathogen. Subunit vaccines all use a specific portion of the pathogen. mRNA vaccines use messenger RNA that cells then use as a template to make the antigen. Viral vector vaccines use a harmless virus that enters cells, inserting DNA that the cells then use to make the antigen. These different methods produce the same result, creating an army of memory cells to attack a specific pathogen.